Everyone, meteorologist Caitlin Fish here with your weatherwise lesson for today. Today we're talking rain. Here's a shape you're familiar with, a teardrop. Of course we use it to represent rain, but have you ever wondered if a raindrop actually looks like this? The answer is no. When raindrops initially form, they're spherical and very small with a diameter as little as a half millimeter. And that's because water molecules that make up the tiny raindrop have very strong bonds between each other, and that is called surface tension. Tension. With time, the drop grows larger and heavier. It starts to fall. On its way down, it collides and merges with other smaller raindrops and continues to grow in size. As the bigger drop continues to fall, the air resistance increases on the underside and flattens it out. The raindrop now looks like the shape of a hamburger bun. This air resistance can eventually split that still growing hamburger bun shaped raindrop into two smaller spherical drops, and then the process can repeat. Modern radars can actually tell us the approximate size of raindrops, and that's important to meteorologists because it gives us an idea of how heavy the precipitation might be falling at a location many miles away. That's your Weatherwise lesson for today. For WHAS 11, I'm meteorologist Caitlin Fish.